Today I'm going to be talking about one of the most criminally underrated metal bands out there and that is Deceased. If you are not familiar with Deceased, they are a death metal, thrash metal, heavy metal kind of mishmash band uh, from Arlington, Virginia. Now I want to emphasize that Deceased has this very interesting genre bending sound that is not solely one thing. So it's not just death metal. Uh, their roots could be considered like based in death metal but there is so much more to discover with their sound this band is mostly the musical baby of lead singer king fowley who basically plays everything on each album respectfully uh, lead vocals to the bass to the drums he has of course had help from various musicians over the last few decades most notably les snyder or les snyder who has helped him with bass parts since 1988 as a quick disclaimer i am only going to be focusing on original full-length albums in their discography so i won't be touching on any ep releases or their cover album series rotten to the core you have most of their albums on either vinyl or cd which i will be showing you in this video if you have listened to deceased already then let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite album from their discography and if you could ask king fally one question what would it be let's get into the video with deceased debut album luck of the corpse i have the cd right here this was released on relapse records in 1991 and fun fact deceased was one of the first bands to sign with relapse along with suffocation and incantation but luck of the corpse is a really fun and groovy old school death metal debut with a lot of thrash elements kind of woven in to the music it's really fun um this is very reminiscent of debut albums from a lot of bands that we love and know like cannibal corpse but without leaning very far into the kind of slasher and gore themes um as well as obituary and morbid angel and you could also throw in a slayer there too uh like with their ep haunting the chapel kind of reminiscence that kind of reminisces that vibe <laughs> you do get horror movies filtered in throughout this album which is of course a given considering the fact that the uh, album cover is literally a picture from the 1963 classic horror film, Black Sabbath. King Valley doesn't sound like really anybody else and that's a huge reason why I enjoy Ceased. So in conclusion, this is a very solid album, uh, but I wouldn't say it's the best record in Deceased discography because they do have much better albums after this. Um, just the absolute growth in artistry and like musicianship is out of this world for this band. This truly is like a stepping stone album. Uh, which I guess is true for really any debut album, really, but it's just so evident with this record and with this band and all of their albums like coming after this that it just gets better from here. A record to come back to once you've heard the other albums that I'm going to suggest you start with. Next, we're gonna move on to their second album from 1995, Blueprints of Madness. This is a great, great album and definitely stronger than their debut the production is stronger in my opinion with more notable punk elements this time around and less of that thrash influence so it really is more of that like death crossover sound it's funny too because in the liner notes of this record king valley actually mentions how badly relapse allegedly butchered the mastering on this record when they got it back and uh, honestly i can't imagine how deflating that must have been getting those mixes back but yeah he said the production was actual ass when they got it back and i don't hear that i think it's better than what they had for luck of the corpse but you know to each their own this record does still maintain its raw edge there's no tracks on here that really feel particularly weak for me in my opinion uh it's filled with these like groovy raw death metal sections there's some tasteful synths in here and of course movie samples that are used to kind of enhance the listening experience overall um, but they're not distracting or overstaying their welcome uh so it, it just makes for this really nice listening experience it's paced very well king fally did mentioned that he wanted more like orchestral and synth moments on this record and i think he succeeded 
in bringing those elements back to life on this record. There's a lot lyrically that's going on here with this record too. Um, there's this eerie story of this insane person in an asylum that almost seems like it's on a ship. <laughs> it's kind of like a twisted version of Shutter Island. And you'll come to find when you listen to this band that a lot of their albums may not be considered concept albums, but they're kind of, there's like an overall general theme and concept in a way to the music. Um, so it all plays into this specific theme. There's a couple references to ships on this record, like with the song, The Triangle, which of course talks about the Bermuda Triangle and referencing kind of weird things that are happening and occurring in the song. Um, this could also explain uh, weird things that are happening to our subject, our little dude here. Most of these songs talk about this battle between reality and insanity and our subject who is actually going mad. But it's a pretty cool listening experience in my opinion. And King Fally says that the horror movies sampled in this album are actually based off of a 1974 horror movie called Messiah of Evil, which for context is about a young woman who goes to look for her missing father and her trip takes her to a strange California coastal city, which is ruled by a mysterious cult of the walking dead. So, I mean, that <laughs> sounds really cool. Also sounds terrifying, but yeah, it's kind of uh, a sane asylum, Shutter Island meets like uh, a coastal town, ocean type of vibe. I do have the CD for this record and I have the vinyl for this record. So for the sake of me filming in my little studio, I'm going to show you the CD, but I'll put B-roll of the actual vinyl. So for all of my viewers out there that love concept albums, Deceased Next record is a concept album. It is called Fearless Undead Machines from 1997. Um, this album revolves around the concept of societal collapse amidst a zombie apocalypse and one man's journey through it all. Um, this is absolutely one of my top three favorite deceased albums and one I highly, highly recommend you start with. Um, it is a concept record though. So like I said, um, it could possibly turn some people off because it is a long record. It's a concept record, it's a lot to dive in. It comes in at an hour and eight minutes long. So for some that could be considered quite intimidating, but I promise you it's worth it. The overall story is not necessarily unique, no, but King Fowley sonically delivers some amazing instrumentals and vocally he sounds amazing. The record is also known for being so good that it completely overshadows their second record blueprints um but you can see how this band's albums like really are considered stepping stones blueprints were literally there and this album is definitely better than the second record they learned they grew and most importantly deceased improved on their sound and they delivered a brutally honest album that leaves nothing behind and the story that's told here really feels like a movie, especially when you follow along with the lyrics and you follow along this character. It's honestly like if you ever watched the show The Walking Dead, back when like The Walking Dead was good, right girl? Like the first like season, maybe up to like the third season and you really cared about the characters and you like, sometimes you bawled when those characters would get, you know? Um, and that's what this listening experience is like. So again, I have the CD for this next record, which is actually brand new. I haven't even taken it out of the package, but that is all because I also have the vinyl. So um, I'll show you footage of the vinyl uh, while holding the CD. Following the masterpiece of Fearless Undead Machines, we have deceased fourth record, Supernatural Addiction from the year 2000. This fourth album is a solid addition to their discography. And although it's not in my top three, it's like my top four for Deceased. Um, it's just it's just under there. They have better records, but there are some really great moments here. Sonically, this album focuses more on the heavy metal thrash metal sound, less on the death metal. There's this bright and gritty guitar tone that's kind of used throughout this record. Um, and I really like the song Dark Chilling Heartbeat as King Fowley plays around with various drum patterns and synths and some really great riffs are placed throughout this 
um, final chorus for that song. So I also really enjoy the song A Very Familiar Stranger. Uh, there are definitely some more melodic moments that are played with um, and placed here on this record. King Valley has admitted to loving, uh, like I said, orchestrals and synths being used and wanting to include those into the albums, and he did that. Now, a reviewer on Metal Archives described this album as a concept record that was like Fearless Undead Machines, but approached in a different way. Um, instead of focusing so much on a singular story and a singular character, Character for the entire record. Each song on Supernatural Addiction kind of represents a bunch of mini horror stories uh, that are put together into an album. I think that that is just a very cool kind of way to do your album. Right, so the next record we're going to talk about from Deceased is their 2005 album As the Weird Travels On. I just have the vinyl for this one, but I really enjoyed Witness to Susperia as well as the intro to Unwanted Memories on this record. There's also this really great guitar tone that's used throughout this record. Um, I think it's fun to listen to and I think it features even better production than the previous record. Uh, just another example of Deceased getting better with each album. The Weird Travels On literally is about weird and intricate performers in this kind of traveling circus. So it's not technically a concept record but all of the songs together kind of lay out this story. It definitely makes makes you feel like you are witnessing this intricate and eerie mysterious like vibe of all these various different characters in this traveling circus while um, the music kind of just makes you feel like you're living through it so overall I do think that this record would be a decent album to jump into for the first time. So the next record we're gonna talk about is Deceased 2011 album, Surreal Overdose. Now this is honestly my least favorite record in their entire discography. Um, there's some really high ratings of this album on Metal Archives, but honestly, after listening to this album again for this video, uh, <laughs> it's just not my favorite listening experience. It leaves much to be desired in comparison to their previous releases. And in my opinion, this album lacks all of the elements that I really, really enjoy about Deceased. That's all of the melodic elements, all the melodic sections, uh, either through synths or orchestral parts. This album is very aggressive, but it's also very flat sonically. I really dislike the guitar tone on this album. Um, it sounds... <laughs> almost like a song that was recorded on a cassette tape and the tape itself is stretched. It's very like wanky and flat sounding. Honestly, I feel like some of the guitar parts are a little more like black metal influenced in a way. There's not a lot of diversity for this record and very little variety. So for that, I rank this as like my least favorite album. Um, and honestly, I just don't think it captures everything that Deceased can do as a whole. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one as a first time listen to start with, but I would recommend their next album, which is their seventh original studio album, and that is Ghostly White from 2018. I do have the CD actually still brand new in the packaging, um, but I will show the vinyl, of course. So let's talk about this record. This album is absolute perfection. It's absolutely the best of what King Fowley has to offer. Um, it's the best of what Deceased has given us so far. It's an absolute banger and I'm obsessed with this album. That said, I am not the biggest fan of the album cover. Sorry, King Fowley. Those are my viewers that sometimes base buying a record on the album cover. Do not judge this album by its cover because it is so so good. White is even more melodic in their opening track, Mrs. Allardyce, than it was even in Surreal Overdose. I mean, honestly, I really just enjoyed the guitar tone of this record. I felt like it was fun and had this kind of nice, bright sound. Ghostly White also features more diverse sounding tracks with some fun twangy riff. Just like their album As the Weird Travels On, Ghostly White kind of feels like a concept record with each song being like this new chapter in this audible story. Um, I'm not totally sure what the story is for this record. I just know it's good. <laughs> song The Shivers has this most amazing melodic guitar riff that sounds like something out of Cattle Decapitation's like Terracite record, uh, but I'm honestly not totally sure it just sounds familiar obviously I know that Terracite came well after this record um, but I'm just 
I'm honestly so obsessed with this record. It's so, so special to my heart. Um, and I also really love the woman's voice that they feature in the final track of this record. I feel like most listeners, myself included, did not expect that with this record. It feels so beautiful and such a nice um, touch, just a nice element that they added. Um, and the solos, again, are very thought out on this record. The thing, too, is there's a lot of dynamic voices that are used on this album. Like I said, the woman's voice is at the, used at the end. But there's, like, movie samples here. And then there's, like, this male voice um, on side C, at least on the vinyl, um, that offers this kind of, like, spoken word element. So there's just a lot that King Valley packed into this record. Um, it's definitely in my top three deceased records. I highly recommend this album, Ghostly White, as the first album that you jump into with deceased if you haven't heard them. If you don't want to listen to Ghostly White for whatever reason, then I highly, highly suggest that you jump into deceased new record, Children of the Morgue, which literally just came out this year in 2024, uh, a few weeks before this video. Children of the Morgue is a play on words from Children of the Corn, which is a Stephen King novel as well as a TV show or a movie. I think it's a movie. Um, either way, this album is 100% Ghostly White Part 2. This is such an amazing album and literally just continues the energy and all of the melodic, beautiful elements that I loved and adored from Ghostly White. It's an amazing listening experience. And honestly, this record was such a nice surprise to listen to. And I think this album might be my album of the year for 2024. It's that good. Oh, I really love this album. Um, Ghostly White is just a little bit better than uh, Children of the Morgue, but it's still really, really, really good. So if you don't want to listen to Ghostly White first, for whatever reason, you should definitely check out Children of the Morgue. It's basically part two of that album. Um, but yeah, I think Ghostly White is just a little bit stronger than Children of the Morgue. King Fally just plays around with so many elements um, on all of these records, and he's just not afraid to experiment, play around, like I said, and kind of push the boundaries, push the envelope, and experiment. And you can really hear that with these records. And like I said, each album it just it gets better and better and he kind of perfects what he messed up on if he did at all from the previous record so I love that he's not afraid to experiment with you know synths and women vocals and spoken word and the movie samples and you just have orchestral moments and there's so much <laughs> that's being played around here and then you've got some concept albums some horror stories the horror elements in there so it kind of like the album art definitely reminds me of like king diamond um it's just a very very fun fun band in conclusion deceased is one of those amazing underground metal band gems that you find and after listening to their discography you really find that they are a literal diamond in the rough. I mean, Deceased, in my opinion, is criminally underrated and definitely deserves more attention and more recognition, especially because their albums just get better over time. They've been in the industry for a really long time, and each record is solid, in my opinion. Yes, even... <laughs> Even Surreal Overdose, which I didn't like, I know that there's a lot of people that really like that album. There were just a couple things that just threw me off personally. Um, but if you are looking for a new death metal band that experiments with these kind of melodic elements um, and plays around with vocals and movie samples and spoken word and just has like these great elements like the best of heavy metal and the best of thrash metal with the best of death metal <laughs> then you need to listen to deceased so i definitely recommend that you check out ghostly white children of the morgue and fearless undead machines but keep in mind that fearless undead machines is a concept record so it is longer it's their longest album in their discography so if you're looking for something that's a little bit easier to digest that showcases the best of what deceased has to offer i would 
go with ghostly white or children of the morgue. I'm one of those people and I think it's just like my autistic brain. Like I have to start things from the beginning. Um, I don't know if anybody else is like that, but I like, I, <laughs> I'm one of those people I can't start from like their new record. I have to listen to like the first record they ever put out. So <laughs> uh, if you're like me, then yes, you would be starting with Luck of the Corpse, which again is going to be more uh, raw and it's going to be a little more unpolished, but you're going to get the best of King Valley doing death metal. If you have listened to Deceased already, then please let me know down below in the comments what your favorite album is from Deceased. And if you could ask King Fally one question, what would it be? I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care, you guys.